Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation. In today's presentation, we will be looking at the cause of most of this warning we are seeing here and the possible way to get rid of this warning in this presentation. I'm so freezing, don't forget to like the presentation, do not also forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more advanced presentations of this kind. Let us get started. At first, I want to be letting us know that uh, this is Protestant 2022 and this is a uh, US code. In the last presentation, we were able to resolve 23 errors, including sparse servers errors successfully. And so, in this presentation, is going to be the cause of all of these uh, summary reports. After analysis, you have this when you use US code or practice for your design. So, I will explain all of this and how you can get rid of all of these warnings, most, uh, most especially this uh, warning. Uh, participating uh, effective mass ratios is below the code requirement and all of that. So let us get started. So I want to be uh, minimizing this. All right. So at this point, one thing I want you to also understand when you are using US code in your building design in product structure. Once you select a US code, the earthquake code is automatically applied to the structure. Again, when you are using a US code, once you get US code selected using the structure, an earthquake code is automatically applied to the structure. And so it is very, very good that you have an earthquake geotechnical report so that you can feed in your geotechnical report appropriately. If you feed in your geotechnical report appropriately, you get rid of most of these errors that you are seeing here. Because these errors are directly from the earthquake data, the default earthquake data that has been embedded in this protest structure under US code. And so, for you to get rid of this, you have to make sure that you have the correct earthquake uh, geotechnical data so that you feed them in successfully. So, I want to be taking you to the earthquake provisions and I will show you the earthquake uh, codes so that you can have, be able to see. All of most of these errors okay and most of this check over there successfully so i'll have to minimize this then i will take you first to the i'll take you first to the settings right there so over here you can see all the concrete codes so you see the earthquake uh, the wheel load codes here yeah, is thailand so you have to change it at first you have to change it to uh the wheel load code yeah, you have to change it to united states as well as the earthquake code now it's in thailand i want to show you something now a minute okay so make sure you stay through this uh, presentation so that you really understand this very much okay so i will be minimizing or close this by clicking on the okay options and the wind load and the earthquake code be selected as thailand click on the seismic uh, parameters and then you will be having this uh this seismic parameters in this format type of analysis and the rest of area province districts and dumping ratios okay but i want to let you know that if you select United States, you will not have most of this. Okay, most of this will not be there. So let's get back by closing out, clicking on the OK options here. Get back to the settings over there and then come to this provision. Just click on this wind load code where you have Thailand wind code 2012 and then select United States, which is this one. Click on the pick options to have that. Select the earthquake code United States. Uh, this is uh, IBC, which is the International Building Code, United States. Okay, pick right there. All right. So after which, if you select here, also you can see the option. Don't use seismic code. You see this option. Don't use seismic code. So if you don't want to use seismic code, check this provision. So once you check these provisions, the earthquake code will not be used in your structure. So you can analyze your structure peacefully without having all of these errors you are seeing. Without having all these errors you are seeing. And your structure will be analyzed successfully without this error. Because these errors are coming from the earthquake. Uh, earthquake code provisions. The default earthquake code that comes with protest structure successfully. So if you check this, don't use the Smith earthquake code. And you picked it right there. And then you, you notice that earthquake code provision, there is no more codes here. There is no more codes here anymore. So you click on the OK options and then click on the Yes option. So now earthquake code is not being applied to this structure. 
and so if you click on this now you will not have any dialogue that will come up because you have disabled the seismic parameters okay attached to this okay but if you have your seismic parameters handy like the geotechnical information are be taken on the construction site and then the report is given to you then activate the earthquake code by clicking here and click on this uncheck this place picked it and then you can now you know click on the okay options and then uh, let me just pick that again so that you will see what's happening right there so i will uncheck here and then click on the pick options click okay uh, let me check that back again if it is the right one this is talkies okay so change it to united states okay and okay right there so now if you click here you will now have this uh, ibc seismic parameters just like this so having this i want to be showing you where those errors are coming from now come to the settings over there you will notice that you have post analysis check so this structure we check for relatives interstory drafts you will check for building height and the rest of most of these errors you will see them here so sorry most of this uh, check you will see them here okay come to the analysis tab right there and then sorry come to the structural irregularity you can see that uh, you are having torsional irregularity right here they said automatically detected so even though this provision is not checked once you run analysis it will automatically detect it and give you that warning that you are seeing in this provision let me break up that uh, warning again this one you can see it here okay so you can see torsional irregularity existing the structure so this is where it is coming from all right so now if you have your information just as i said earlier make sure you key him properly let us make progress don't skip the video you have to stay connected and then to the end of this video so that we really understand because we have more points to make on this uh, uh, warning we're having right there so most of this warning is due to overloading of the structure so if i should minimize this right there i come over to where i have a parameters right there you will notice that uh, you have the spectral accelerations and soil factors and then the spectral soil factors is 0 0.4 so most of the, these the figures you are seeing here are at default so they are beyond you know maybe they are beyond limits and they are adding more loads to the structure all right so adding more loads to the structure will now result to the you know warning that you are seeing over there so not really the structure itself but the forces that is being applied to the structure that is resulting to this warning so if you don't have an earthquake and the earthquake report and to key in appropriately according to the uh, geotechnical report it's better you this uh, you 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 actually uh you actually get rid of the earthquake uh, or seismic parameters so that you can run your analysis smoothly all right okay so another thing that we will be looking at is let us click on the okay option here another thing that you'll be looking at that also add more loads to this structure is the wind load notice that the wind load is being activated if you come to the provision where is our wind and story loads click right there and then you can see the masses okay see the masses of the wind load uh, that is being applied to this structure successfully at default this is at default okay so you have to ca also carry out your you know wind uh, analysis wind report and then get it down here to the wind load calculator and then you can be able to key it in appropriately and accordingly and then select the exposure category of the structure appropriately right based on the report so once you do all of this I'm telling you, you get rid of most of those errors. So for the basic way speak right there, if you now change it to maybe 10 meter per second, you click on the apply right there, you will notice that some of these figures will be reduced successfully. You can see the report and results of the win in the X directions, Y directions, WMS, and the rest of that successfully. And you can see the torsional, uh, you can see the loads over there in kilograms. So these are the loads in the kilogram, these are the pressure that is being added to the structure. So these combinations of this wind load, default wind uh, loads, and this default seismic parameters applied to the structure is what is causing those uh, errors, sorry, those warnings that you are seeing right there. Okay, so this is the simple way you can be able to, you know, uh, carry out your structural um, analysis and design successfully using us code without having a problem 
of warning that is like this ones that we are having here like the way this structure is now if you carry out this structural analysis you still be having this kind of warning that you're seeing over here okay so what we're going to do we are going to be running the analysis of this structure once more and then before we carry out the analysis we will have to uh, deactivate the seismic parameters successfully so we see the result that we have on this structure right away so what we need to do now because presently there is no report there is no geotechnical uh, earthquake report that we can feed in successfully to be able to you know uh, get the accurate parameters okay so what we have to do is to deactivate it okay so that it will not function on the structures okay so we are going to be considering that just a minute i'll have to minimize this so by then you have to get back to the settings right there and then come over here click on this uh, ibc uh, earthquake check these provisions so that it's not going to be applied so you can see here it's not longer existing anymore click on the ok options all right so before we carry out the analysis let us check the analysis statute okay it's nullified already but before then you have to save the project so adding the project save now we go to the analysis tab click on the building analysis right there so you have a build analysis dialog just like this so in the building analysis dialog in case you are having a stiffness problem a stiffness problem uh, uh warning right there you can as well adjust it in these provisions you come over to where you have model options and then come to material and sections effective stiffness factors click right there you can make changes to most of these areas and torsional constants successfully depending on the code or practice the us code successfully but for you to be able to apply it to the structure come over here say note in order to apply these factors building analysis must be repeated these factors will be applicable only for load cases for which crack sections property are used now how do you know that crack section property are used in your structure so i want to be taking you to where you can actually activate this crack uh, section property successfully so that if you make any changes here it can also be applied to that structure but uh, I'm not making any changes for now. I'm just trying to show you that successfully. So if you want to get it back to its original default format, you can click on the default value here and it's going to get all your settings here back. Okay, so you are making settings here. You have to reference codes and make sure you are key in the appropriate ratio successfully to avoid unnecessary errors. So click on the OK options. I want to show you where you can activate this. Click on the OK options and then uh, we'll have to close this for now. Okay so after having closed that you have to get to where you have no this right there and then you get to the uh load case and then uh, you get to load cases and the uh, combinations right there so in the load cases and combinations provisions click on the loading generator and then once you check the loading generator the next dialog that you will have you will see use crack sections in all vertical loads combinations as well so once you have this place check those figure you key in in that table will affect your structure successfully so i'm just trying to show you uh what you can do okay so create uh, create different combination for steel members this is when you are having the combination of both steel and reinforced concrete members so that is exactly what we are doing so you have to create that because you have a, a steel members you have a reinforced concrete members right there in that structure so you have to check this okay and then click on the okay options right there just like this so after you must have created all of that successfully uh we click on the okay options right there so now uh we are having an existing load uh cases and the new ones you just have to click on the okay options to get rid of that but we are having you some one is here one in unassigned load will be deleted so those load you are seeing here is as a result of the seismic okay now we deactivated the seismic so having deactivated the seismic is it is fine to refresh this to make sure that there is no seismic applied to the structure okay so we click on the okay options to delete all those seismic load because seismic has been deactivated in this uh, structure so if you check over here now where you are having loadings you notice that there is no more seismic options here okay we do have seismic there is no more seismic because we have deactivated it all right successfully so at this point we are designing our structure without seismic so let's see what we get as a result of designing of uh, analyzing this structure so i'll click on the save options to save all of the changes that we have made successfully so i will now have to navigate to the uh, analysis tab 
they click on the building analysis right there okay having our default material be selected just like this including the unit weight of members selected just as it is we go straight away to the analysis right there at first i know we have checked this project but it is fine you check your project first to know the statute of your uh, modeling okay after you must have make made all the necessary changes so i'll click on this click on start and see if there are any errors okay in the model Fortunately, we are having a zero error in this model. I click on the close options right there. So now the model is set for analysis. So I'll be clicking on the analysis tab right there to carry out the analysis successfully. All right, so once you click on the analysis right there, you have this dialogue. So I really want to actually analyze and design, but I want to actually analyze only, okay? Because we have analyzed and designed in the previous lesson. I want to analyze only and then see uh, the result of the analysis successfully that is our aim right so let's proceed i will click on the building analysis right there so building analysis has started successfully all right so you can notice now analysis is done successfully and then there is no more errors we are not seeing any error here. we are not seeing any warning just as i said earlier those warning as as is as a result of the seismic parameter default seismic parameter that comes alongside with the earthquake code in total structure using the us code of practice so now there is no more uh, there's no morning nothing at all that is coming you know from there because we have deactivated the seismic parameter so if you want to apply a seismic to your project no just apply it at default get the right reports of the seismic and then make sure you key the seismic parameter in appropriately and you will not have any error in your structure successfully okay i believe this lesson is uh, well explained to our understanding as an engineer if you have any question you can drop it at the comment section subsequently i will be taking us on how to how to uh, apply a seismic parameter successfully to the seismic provisions and as we carry it out in the design of a structure using the us code successfully and i want to also invite you to join our ongoing uh, master uh, training program in total structure in technical structure in advanced things and as well in uh, autodesk uh, robots structurer and also in revis structure so any of the software you want to master it you can join our training where we explain from first principle and then you will become pro in the use of this software successfully okay so i will be clicking on the closed options successfully so you can see there is no warning there is no error just as i said earlier i've specified where these errors are coming from so i believe that is noted successfully at this point i want to be bringing the presentation to a stop and then i want to also audience don't forget to like the presentation Please do not also forget to subscribe to Surfreezing channel for more advanced lessons of this kind. Thank you very much. Stay tuned, stay connected and stay safe. Bye for now.